Do you play Siamese Mahjong using Wright-Patterson Mahjong rules? If you do, and there is a tournament in your area, you may want to practice quick decision making because you're on a timer. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong or Wright-Patterson Mahjong, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist. Check it out. Also, consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's get to these sprints. I have my tiles out and they've been mixed and I have my smartphone. I'm gonna use the timer there. You can use any stopwatch, really. I'm going to roll the dice to see who is prevailing. I rolled a nine. So east is prevailing. We'll just say we're the dealer for these sprints. I think for beginners, if you make decisions in under four minutes, I think that's a good guideline. For intermediate players, under three minutes. And for advanced players, under two minutes as an average. Let's see how it goes. All right, now we have, look at all those BAMs. That's going to be easy decision. Peng Chao for BAMs. Then up here, I'm thinking, let's see, four, five, seven, eight. I wonder if a jewel hand would be good though. Four, five, seven, eight, jewel hand. Four, five, seven, eight. No, I think because we, you can't use eights with fours. Um, and fives so I think a sequence hand there for sure then I think for up here we have more dots than we do cracks so I'm thinking news lineup news lineup we might be able to use the we'll stop it there all right so news lineup, which is a sequence hand. Let me read it to you. Number 10 on page 18. Sequence of one and nine in one suit with news and one win paired. We need a one dot and a four dot. That's it, two away. Oh, and a south. So three away from news lineup then down here we could play shamrock number four on page 17 six pairs of bams with a pair of green dragons there's a green dragon and here's one two three pair as an option though we could play Peng chow sequence of one to nine and one suit i'm sorry that would be kong Peng. let's look at uh Peng chow number 15 on page 18 Four chows or pungs and a pair in one suit right here. So this leaves six discards. That's actually really encouraging. If you can plan it so that your decision making leaves eight discards or less, that's a really strong start. These could both be winners here. If you would do something different with these tiles, right? sprint one and what you would do differently but this is what i would do news lineup and either shamrock or Peng chow if we went with Peng chow we'd have seven discards sprint two Let's roll for prevailing. I rolled an eight, and eight is north. Let's 
put I like to put honors on top. Wow. Not a lot of bams. But look at all these cracks and dots. A lot of good one suit options with Wright Patterson Mahjong. And we've got a lot of one suit. Look at that. And we have maybe a good option with both matching dragons here. Let's see. I'm thinking Valentine. One, two. Actually, let's look at um, Valentine as a pair hand. We have a pung in here. Let's see if we could do any jewel hands there. Jewel hands, Ruby, two, three, four, six, eight, two, three, four, six, eight. Ruby, number 27 on page 20. Either that or Pung Chow. Pung Chow, there's a lot of good Chow potential in here. So I'd say Pung Chow probably uh, for there. And then one, three, four, four, six, seven. Four six seven four. Nope. I'm thinking a pair hand here too. Snowflake six pairs of dots with a pair of white dragons. I'll lap it. Okay, one, two, two pair in there plus the white dragons. So I would say Pung Chow for all these cracks in either. Maybe Snowflake, number two on page 17. Six pairs of dots with a pair of white dragons. Or if we draw in more dots, we could play Piano Keys. Piano Keys is number 14 on page 18. Sequence of one to nine in one suit with two pungs and a pair, two through eight. Here's a pung right there. Obviously, we would need the two dot, the five dot, and then another pung in here in a pair. So a lot of work to be done for this hand down here. But this decision here would leave five discards, which is amazing. That would be really good. This is a really strong plan for both of these. Those could even be winners, I think, especially this top hand. If you would do something different for Sprint 2, write it in the comment section and let me know. We'll do the last Sprint. Prevailing is 11, which is 1. Lots of cracks again. One, two, three, eight. One, three, eight. Let's just look at jewel hands again. Jewel hands. Eventually I'll have them memorized. No ones in jewel hands. Let's see. We have three pair in there. I'm thinking razzle. Razzle for that first one. Razzle is... Five pairs with news. We already have one, two, three pair. And news with one win paired. Oh, we don't need that. What about, ooh, what about Wally? Let's see here. We don't have any pungs. Yeah, I don't think that's good. I think I would stick with what we had there. Razzle. We can't use those. Then for the other hand, I'm thinking we could do 
One, two, I think probably I'll lap it. A bam hand, probably some kind of a sequence hand, Pung Chow, because we don't have enough suits. If we're going to use all these cracks up here for Razzle, we need at least let's see we have one two three we'd need it we'd need at least two more of these let's just see if we could make maybe something mixed suit down there one three eight five seven nine if we did the two there One, five, nine. Yeah, I think that I would still do the same thing. I was thinking that maybe we could make some kind of a hopscotch hand work down here by whittling out some of these single tiles, but I don't think so. I think maybe I would hold... the 139 and go for maybe little one let's see is it 1579 in which case we wouldn't need the three let me just read little 1579 to you it's a mixed suit and that would allow us to use two more here little 1579 Two or three suits, one pung each of one, five, sevens, and nines with a pair of either ones or nines. We'd have to throw all these away though. Well, no, not those, these two. So I think that would be a long shot, but it holds off at least two here. So five discards, probably more like seven discards. All right, let's see how this went. I don't know if I made it. One minute, 59 seconds for sprint one, two minutes and seven seconds for sprint two, and two minutes and two seconds for sprint three. So as an average, I was over Two seconds as an average I think I could whittle down my time by practicing more and studying the book I think I'll carry it with me in my purse and I could study it as I'm going out and about town you know how you're run errands and you just kind of wait around having the book in your purse is a good way to leverage that wait time and study learn all those hands it really is a fun style it's very creative some of these hands and it's a lot of fun it's very much like asian versions if you're at all curious about asian versions of mahjong this is a really great transition between american style and asian versions i encourage you to look into it there is a link below the video to the lesson playlist let me know what you think about it if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Between now and the next Siamese Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.